Hello everybody, it's your boy N here, I'm coming at you guys with another YouTube video. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a build guide on uh, what I believe to be the most underplayed melee weapon in this game, and that my friends is the Arum Spinosa. So without further ado guys, let's get right on into today's video. So guys, uh, this is going to be a build based on the middle mass button, so the alt attack, so the heavy attack even. So this is the config you're going to want to run. For the stance, you're gonna want to go with slicing feathers. For the first mod, you're gonna want to go with prime fever strike because we are trying to get that lovely viral effect. Now, obviously, you're gonna need north wind to complete that viral, so that's gonna be there too. Um, I would recommend prime pressure point just for some damage, killing blow because um, it gives you extra damage on the heavy attack and it gives you extra wind up speed, which is exactly what we need. Um, amalgam Orgon Shatter again because fast wind up speed for the thingy for the heavy attack and extra critical damage which is what we need. Gladiator Might for extra crit damage, Sacrificial Steel for the good crit chance and also extra damage sentience which is nice and Corrupt Charge for extra initial combo. Now if you want to get a Riven for this weapon because the Riven disposition is very high um, you know go crazy with it get viral on riven get crit chance uh crit damage sorry you know attack speed whatever helps you or whatever you want to go with but this is the config that you are primarily going to want to run so let me run on into the simulacrum and i'm going to show you what this does okay so people i've just spawned grenier wardens over here so let's switch on over to the arm spinosa now I'm not going to be using Eclipse or any Wisp mods to go with this, so as you can see from just using the middle mouse button, we basically make the enemy disappear, and you can see the numbers, you can see them just ripping, he'll fall for a second and then he will very much die, just because that beautiful crit damage and the uh, killing block. So you know this is capable because these are level 195 enemies and for a melee weapon just using a single attack and taking them out like this is very very fun. This is reminiscent of the Glaive Prime which is another very mainstream weapon that I don't really like to use as much as this just because this is more fun. Also if you do want to regularly melee with it um, the stance is cool I guess that's all I can say but for the most part you're not really going to want to be meleeing with this uh, on a normal just because this config is way more uh, designed in order to do the middle mouse button or the heavy attack and just rip apart the enemies with that so guys I'm going to head on into steel path and I'm going to show you what this does up against steel path enemies so guys we are in steel path and as you can see this is just ripping the enemies apart like there's no tomorrow as you can see over there it does manage to go through quite a bunch of enemies so if you do want to use this to just rip through a horde very much capable of doing so other than that it's just big damage and just a lot of fun to play with just in general as you can see now i can see why people don't primarily play this as a melee weapon however i do think that people should definitely consider giving it a chance especially considering how fun this is just to play in general and how much damage this can do as a melee weapon it is definitely one of the more underplayed weapons and i do think that it deserves a chance but you know each to their own play style and i'm being attacked by the parent sequence however the attack's not going to last long because like i said this weapon is very capable and they're all dead easy okay so people acolyte is here so let me just show you how we absolutely hammer the Acolyte with the Aaron Spinosa. As you can see, Acolyte's health just got disintegrated. And, you know, this, this is capable. If that doesn't show it, I don't know what else does. Okay, so guys, that's been this video on the Aaron Spinosa. I do hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please do drop a like. If you want to see build guides on any other weapons, please do leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get a video out for them. But other than that, guys, I hope you've enjoyed. Please do drop a like. Any comments, criticism, leave them all below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.